The problem of creating a seamless procedural texture is finding a uniform vector valid math function, the output of which ends in the same coordinates as it starts. A vector valued function is a function that takes a single number as input and outputs several numbers, in other words, a vector. Uniform means that the distance between the point f of t plus c and the point f of t is the same for any t and any c. Fortunately, there is a known function that does exactly that. This function defines movement around a circle with a radius r. Through the graph, we can also visually demonstrate its uniformness. t can be any number, but we are interested only in the first cycle of the movement, which is when t belongs to the range between 0 and 2 pi. Okay, so how is this useful in seamless procedural textures? The input in any procedural textures is the coordinates x, y, z and optional w. Our goal is to make sure that our texture on every axis ends in the same coordinates as it starts. Therefore, we can use the output of our function as the coordinates we input into the texture. Let's focus on looping the texture horizontally first. So we need to map the left side of the mesh to 0 and the right side to 2 pi. The output of generated coordinates gives us 0 on the left and 1 on the right. Therefore, it's sufficient to just multiply the generated x by 2 pi and plug it into our function. What about the vertical axis? It seems that we ran out of the coordinate inputs in our 3D noise texture, so we have to switch to the 4D version of it. Now we do the same thing as before, but with generated Y. And finally, we can do this. If you found this video useful, you can purchase a pre-made node group plus a setup to render textures that you can use to export them into game engines for $1 on Gumroad, link down below.